in in the wisdom of the trail by Jack London a short story two characters stand out above the others of course the first one is Sitka Charlie he's the leader of the expedition and he's a interesting character he uh, he grew up among the white men and he he uh, internalized their ways over a lifetime and he's uh, he's internalized their philosophy and and in his own opinion he knows it better than they do themselves and the reason he was so fascinated with the white man is because he he longed for their power he saw their power and he wanted it for himself and so he he studied them over years and contemplated their actions and their words and their attitudes and uh, developed the theory uh, the law which he saw uh, that they followed and uh, because of that he interestingly he uh, he wanted what the white man had so much and spent his life with him that he had basically rejected his own people and exiled himself from his own tribe and so he and he spent all his time taking white men on expeditions and back in the gold rush days 1800s and so then the other character was the woman the woman now normally charlie would never allow a woman on his on one of his uh, expeditions because he'd seen enough of them he knew they in his opinion they were weak pathetic I mean not not so much an Indian woman who he, he respected their tenacity on the trail but a white woman was a pathetic thing in his opinion to, to watch on the trail they whined they complained eventually they just dropped off and died and he didn't he didn't have time for it and however on this particular voyage uh, he he met an unusual woman that he hadn't seen before and he was he became quite infatuated with this woman uh, she was unusual first of all normally he would as I said she he'd reject him right off the bat but she was different she looked him in the eye she she um, was very confident and she didn't beg she didn't try to persuade him she simply confidently claimed equality with men and not in the feminist sense she was just a strong a strong woman and this like uh, twisted Charlie's uh, logic he 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 was so overtaken by her that he couldn't reason and so he actually allowed her to go on this voyage and it turned out that this was a good choice because because uh, she actually exceeded expectations um, once uh, very we're talking about a voyage through the vast Arctic Northland where temp temperatures run 20 to 40 below zero in the vast thousands thousands of miles of endless ice and snow and where the weak perish and the strong maybe survive and so and so here we have this woman and the reason she exceeded expectations is a lot of little things like for example she accepted no help when when the men were staggering and ready to collapse with every step and she was in a similar state yet she wouldn't accept any extra help from them because she didn't she wanted to carry her own weight she didn't want anyone uh, trying to hold her up her despite her own suffering and everybody else's suffering Charlie would be lifted up by by a flash of joy on her face when she when she smiled at him and uh, direct talk we talked about that um, she had offered this she'd also offer a glance of appreciation at different uh, at different times during the, the the journey which was a pick which would lift Charlie up and give him energy and make him feel it would lift him up I don't know if it was if he was in love with her possibly it seems quite possible he had a crush on her but that lift that that uh, that glance of appreciation would energize him and uh, and he knew that she was a different kind of woman and that this kind of woman uh, would would uh, breed sons who were indomitable and her smile lifted him up also her smile was like energy to him a pick-me-up and a word of thanks she would she would when she spoke it was in Thanksgiving uh, a positive appreciative tone of voice and as the way grew darker and harder and and death seemed nearer and nearer and the and the, the the land became more unforgiving and the climate became more more rigorous and more ruthless and the men became weaker yet she became stronger 
She also, when the men broke, when the men absolutely came apart at the seams and would would break into lashing out at each other, and they would be, they would be cursing at each other. Yet her voice would rise as a forgiving, a voice of forgiveness and charity. And so all of this picked up the others and kept them going when when they might have otherwise just dropped and died and given up. For example, one one example in particular stands out. So they one night around the campfire when you know some of these guys are thinking they aren't going to wake up again they're just going to go down fall down go to sleep and die yet it says here's a quote she sung to them at night till weariness fell from them and they were ready to face the future with fresh hope and indeed that's what they did so this woman she had something in her spirit a spirit of an indomitable spirit a spirit of love and joy and thanksgiving and appreciation and all of this in, in song and all of this lifted the others up and kept them going and yet that she was even though physically she was the weakest of this voyage in reality she was the strongest she was the strongest so the survival of the woman is a great example of the survival of the spiritual because she had a spiritual aspect the others were the others were very f men of the flesh they were uh, all about their physical strength whether or not they could they could survive the the, uh, the hard elements with their physical strength but it was failing them it was failing them day in and day out and yet this woman through her spiritual qualities were able to lift them up and and uh, show them a new kind of sur survival instinct that was far above the, that of the flesh, which was the spirit. And that, uh, that we can actually find that in the Bible. If we look at, uh, what is that, Romans 8? Uh, Romans 8. Romans 8, 13. For if, you, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if you live by the spirit, and put put to death the deeds of the body, ye shall live. So there's something about that this is natural to this woman's character that's actually a biblical a biblical uh, law, which I call the survival of the spiritual. Thanks for watching.